Hi, my name's Ken Benoit. I'm a certified golf course superintendent and executive director of the New York Golf Course Foundation. I recently rode my bicycle around the state of New York, covering over a thousand miles to raise awareness of the importance for golf facilities to formally adopt best management practices, which are designed to preserve and protect our water resources. Along the way, I spoke with superintendents, university professors, and PGA professionals about the impact BMPs can have at their facility and beyond. We've also discussed specific BMPs that the superintendents have implemented at their facility. This project was made possible by funds awarded to the foundation by the New York State Turfgrass Association through the New York State's Turfgrass Environmental Stewardship Fund. In this video, we'll be speaking with certified golf course superintendent, John Carlone. John will discuss the importance of BMPs and he'll also give us some highlights of his new pesticide mixing, loading, and storage facility. Hope you enjoy the video and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. So John, we're here talking about BMPs today. Before we get into your highlighted BMP, let's talk a little bit about uh, BMPs in general and uh, why do you think it's important for the golf industry, golf pros, GMs, golfers, superintendents to uh, recognize the importance of these BMPs? I think the most important thing is that the world is watching us. Not only the golf world, but the world is watching us. Uh, golf courses have not had the best of publicity in the past. We're viewed as an elite sport by many. Yeah. Certainly we know it's not. That, you know, the, the rank and file are playing golf as much as ever. Uh, and it's the right thing to do. We'll use these BMPs uh, not just to help guide our decision making to protect mm -hmm. water, but to communicate the good things that we're doing, yeah. right? Exactly. Uh, and the chemicals we're using today are much safer than they were in past years. So I think that's the message we have to get out to the general public, which is, in, in my opinion, why BMPs are so important. The general public that doesn't play golf, that views golf courses as elite wasters of energy, when in fact we're not. Right. So we use them as a guide and to communicate with. Right. It's really that simple. Exactly. Uh, okay, so now on a more micro level here at Meadowbrook, uh, where would you see the value in adopting these BMPs at, uh, at your club? Well, certainly uh, advertising to members, letting our members know how safe we are in managing our property, how advanced we are with the technologies we're using, the chemicals we're using. It's a good story to tell. Yeah, it's a great story, and, and, and it's a story that needs to be told. And, and I think the more that story's told, the more the golf community embraces it, too. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's it's like you need these leaders to yeah. to to blaze the trail, yeah. and then everybody will follow. So you can use that BMP document uh, to help you through permitting processes yeah. to communicate to the town what you know what good you're doing for the environment versus that perspective of what we're doing to the environment. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And you know we're we're standing here in my environmental center as I call it. I've had some, uh, like the fire marshal has come and inspected me, and, and the state insurance fund that watches over us to make sure we're uh, obeying OSHA regulations. They were ecstatic about this building and wished everybody would do it, just the, the, how forward thinking it was, and, and that made me very proud of it. Within the BMPs, there are accommodations for all levels yeah. of budget. You yeah. don't have to have a grandiose building to do, be doing something good Absolutely. or better than what you're doing right now, Absolutely. right? So these BMPs really do help serve as a guide for superintendents in their decision making, yeah. uh, which then can lead to better community relationships. Yes, 100%. Right. Yeah. right. I agree. So the, the essence of this building and purpose behind this building uh, is is multifold for sure, yes. but but at the heart of what we're talking about with regard to BMPs, mm -hmm. we're really talking about protecting water quality. Correct. And tell me a little bit about how this building helps you protect water quality. So we were washing equipment. Our wash station was next to a hole in the ground. It was basically a dry well. It was probably dug in the 80s sometime. We were filling our pesticide sprayers on a piece of gravel uh, that was close to an irrigation pipe so we could tap into the pipe to fill the water fill the tanks neither one of them were doing anything for groundwater because anything that spilled was going on the ground so that that wasn't satisfactory and certainly wasn't good enough for me that was the impetus behind this idea yeah. uh, and now with all our water being re recycled that we wash equipment with 
and our pesticide mix and fill in a epoxy coated floor that nothing can get in the groundwater. And if I do spill, it's recycled. It goes through the carb control system. Any spill is recycled. So nothing is getting to the groundwater anymore, whether it be petroleum products, pesticide products, oil, grease, any of that is not getting in the groundwater anymore. So you are 100% covered uh, with regard to spill protection Correct. here. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, unbelievable. And then for your uh, spray rigs, do you pump the rinsate into a tank and then spray that? How do, how do you handle yeah, we, that? Yeah, we will put the additional water in the tank and spray it out on turf areas. And then when we have a little bit in the bottom of the tank, we will yeah. save it in a two and a half gallon jug. Yeah. And if I have two, two and a half gallon jugs, and we'll use it in backpack sprayers and spot spray, some spots like that. So nothing's really going to waste. We don't waste anything. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, so w would you then say that this building uh, was worth worth the effort and money? Well, it's even if we didn't save any money in pesticide uh, spray or the, what we've done to protect the groundwater and the the publicity or the the reputation we now have as a good citizen was worth it. Yeah. So thanks for having me here, John. Okay. I really appreciate you taking the time to show us your new facility. My pleasure.